Hey guys, so today I thought I would do a video on my July favourites. I love watching these type of videos and I haven't really done any before, I don't think. And I basically just wanted an excuse to rock this look on camera. I'm loving it. Loving myself thick in this, in the words of Kath and Kim. So, the first thing I will talk about is something that I have loved for quite a while and I've only just repurchased. This is the Stila One Step Correct Primer. Now, if you can see, it's got three different swirls of color. There's lavender, there's green, and then there is a peach. And when you pump it out, they all come out like differently. There. Anyway, I've had a full one of these before and I only repurchased it uh, not very long ago because I was trying out new things, but this has got to be my favorite primer ever. As you can see, like when you kind of spread it out, it's got all the different colors. It's really, really moisturizing and it corrects all the uneven tones in your skin. So it works really well for me, especially in the winter because my skin gets excruciatingly dry and I'm all flaky and gross. Um, and that one helps to combat all the redness that I have in my skin. It helps to counteract um, like the dark circles under my eyes, um, any dark patches, and it really helps moisturize my skin. So I've been loving that one. Staying on the face section, I have two foundations. One of them, I'm kind of nervous to show because it's like extreme high end, but I did have a gift voucher, I promise you that. Um, so I'll start with that one. It is the Tom Ford <laughs> yep, um, Stick Foundation. This is in the shade Pale June. Ugh, so obviously packaging is adorable. I mean, just gorgeous. And it looks like this. So it is just a stick foundation. This is so beautiful and creamy. I've never liked stick foundations before. And I'd gone in and swatched this um, when I got the gift, vouch the gift voucher that I used to purchase this. And... I kind of tossed up for quite a while, but this has the most beautiful emollient texture. It blends right into the skin. The coverage is so lovely and buildable, but it never ever looks cakey. It lasts like the whole day and it keeps my skin really moisturized. So it is perfect, perfect for winter for me. Um, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I honestly think it's probably my best, my favorite foundation so far because it's really easy to apply. It doesn't budge once it's on. It's so smoothing and the coverage, you can go from really, really sheer to really full coverage, but it doesn't look like you've caked makeup onto your face. And I just, I love that one. That is just fantastic for me. And then the second one is from the drugstore. I just discovered this 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 month. This is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Gel Foundation. It says 16 hours radiance. I wouldn't really say that it's 16 hour, but this is very similar the reason why I like this is very similar to why I like the Tom Ford. It is very, very hydrating, very, very smooth, has buildable coverage. It never really looks cakey and it does last really nicely. I just wouldn't say it's 16 hours plus. This is actually the right shade for me. This is 51 Van Life Vanilla, Vanille Claire, if you want to go for the French. And I, I love this. I never thought that I would like this. I've seen a couple of people talk about it and it just never really struck my fancy, but I tested it on the back of my hand and... Just beautiful, really, really smooth, very hydrating, great for dry skin people. Now, I'm going to talk about a powder that I've been loving, which I have kind of strayed away from powders lately because, as I've said through this whole video, my skin is very, very dry because it's winter. But I recently picked up the Ben Nye Cameo Powder in this little one. This is the like 1.5 pound, 42 gram thing my bobby. I chose this one over the banana because banana on lighter skin tones can look, can give a really, really yellow cast and I didn't want to chance it. So I picked up this one, which is obviously very, very neutral and a little bit more pink. This is fantastic for setting underneath the eyes. I use it with another one of my favorites, which is the Real Techniques um, sponge. And I tap out a little bit of this on a mixing palette and then I place it on here and this gets right up underneath my eyes and really helps set it without like tearing at my under eyes. So very, very gentle and it makes my concealer last all day without creasing. So sticking with the face, tiles are being ripped up in someone else's apartment anyway. Sticking with the face, I'll go on to blush. So I recently picked up some of the Clinique Cheek Pop. I hate it when people say that it's a favorite and then they don't know the name of it, but that was literally just a slip in my mind. 
This is the Cheek Pop. This is in Melon Pop. I also have Pansy Pop, which is this color here. And then I have Pink Pop. So I really, really like these. Um, I got, these are the newer colors that haven't come out in Australia yet, but they are obviously available in the US. So I ordered them along with a couple of other things. These are so beautiful. Like they're really quite sheer, um, which is great for me because my skin is so fair that like I prefer things to be sheer so I can build them up instead of having a really, really pigmented product and then putting it on and having to try and blend it out and taking off half my foundation at the time. So this is probably my favorite, this Melon Pop. I just, I just love it. It's it's such a beautiful color and I love the other two shades I have as well. This one may look a little bit crazy, but when you put it on the skin, it just blends in really nicely. You can probably hardly see that, but it doesn't look this purple on your face. <laughs> That's basically the point I'm getting to. But I absolutely love these ones. I'm really glad I picked up a couple of different shades because I think they're actually going to overtake my hourglass blushes as my favorite formula just because they're so like sheer but easy to build and they don't go really chalky and powdery on your cheeks. They literally just look like you're flushed. They have a little bit of a glow to them. They're just really, oh, they're just so beautiful. So the reason I got those Clinique blushes was because I had to make a very special purchase from Sephora. Um, I'm, the people that know me in real life know that I adore Jaclyn Hill. Like I love her. I literally cried at her vlog the other night, which sounds really, really sad, but I just She's just such a beautiful person and I love her. She's so talented, like just everything she does, I love. So I had to obviously pick up the Becca and Times Jaclyn, sorry, the Becca Jaclyn Hill collaboration of the Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. I am keeping it in its packaging because it has Jaclyn Hill's face on it. I don't know, this is not gonna come out of its packaging. It's There's some things that I keep in packaging, some things that I don't. Anyway, this is what it looks like. So it is obviously a champagne -y shade. If you are a regular to YouTube, you have probably seen this a million and one times before. I really like this, but it is kind of, I won't say it's chunky, but the particles are a bit bigger than what I'm used to. So this for me is not an everyday all over highlight. It could be because I'm a bit fairer or it could just be, that's my taste. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. Hang on, I will do a proper swatch. There we go. So there's that one there. So what I like to do with this one, and I have been doing it recently, is I take Becca Moonstone and I place this kind of all along this part of my cheekbone here. And then I'll take Champagne Pop and just place it right at the highest points of my cheekbones to really emphasize. So those are those two. Um, but yeah, I've, I've been loving it and I'm not sure if it's just because it's Jaclyn or <laughs> if I actually really love the product, but I've been using that a fair bit lately. It's definitely going to be my night out highlighter because it is a little bit stronger than most of my other highlighters that I have. And the last thing for the face is the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. I think I mentioned this in a video that I've put up, but this shit holds. Like, this is the chill ones. This is meant to be for like making your skin look a little bit more dewy. I don't find that it does that, except for like directly after you've sprayed it, but this holds my makeup all day. Like I've never had a setting spray that actually keeps my makeup on and I didn't realize until after I started using this how much my contour and my highlight and my blush would fade towards the end of the day. My eyeshadow always stayed fine, my lipstick was always fine, but like everything on my cheek would fade shockingly and I didn't realize until I started using this how much of a difference it made like I get to the end of the day and my makeup will still look like it's freshly applied like you can still see the color of the blush you can still see where the contour is you can still see the highlight and highlight I find tends to fade the quickest it's always the one that kind of falls off your face and doesn't stick but this makes it stick if you have trouble with your makeup coming off this is amazing. I've previously tried the All Nighter one and from memory, because it was a while ago that I had it, it didn't work as well as the Chill one. So I don't think this would be a problem for oily skin types to use because it works. It's it's not like a dewy finishing spray. It is more of literally a setting fixing spray. So that is amazing. <laughs> 
Now the last things we have are lip things. So I'll start with a lip care thing first. And this was a throwback. I went shopping with my friend, my friend Bryony the other day. It's not just me shopping by myself. I actually have a girl that I went to primary school with called Bryony. We've remained like best friends ever since. Anyway, we went into the body shop and this product we used to like, I think I had about 10 of them at some point because I loved them so much and we would always go to the body shop and get these if we ever had any spare money. This is the Born Lippy. It's just a, a lip balm and this is in the scent Watermelon. Holy shit. This smells so good. It reminds me of um, if you've ever had the Starburst, the Starburst Lollipops, the Watermelon one. That's what this smells like. This is so moisturizing. Like it was five bucks and I put it on last night for instance and I woke up this morning and my lips were more moisturized than they've been in years. And I've used everything. I've used like Lucas Pawpaw, I've used chapsticks, um, Nivea balms, all this and that. This is so hydrating and it smells so goddamn good. I can't get over the scent. Even if it was shit for my lips, I would still use this because the scent is so amazing. They have heaps of other scents, but this is a major throwback for me and I love it. Next thing that I've been using and abusing for the month is MAC lip liners in general. So I have six, six in total. I just find that these, the, first of all, they obviously have a really wide range of colors. So it's perfect for any type of lip. If you don't feel like buying a different color lip liner for every single lipstick you have, the best thing to do is go for a neutral or a nude because you can put that on underneath your lipstick. It'll give it a base and it means that you've outlined your lips, but it's not going to, you know, you don't have to use a different lip color for, I mean, a lip pencil for every lip color that you have. So at the moment, oh, it's probably a bad thing to say at the moment, isn't it? So at the moment I have Subculture, which is a nude. I have Whirl, which is the Carly Journal lip. Um, I have Saw, which is a bit more pinky purple. I have Magenta, which is a magenta. I have Ruby Woo, which is a red, and Night Moth, which is a very dark shade. So I've really been loving these. I also love the Too Faced um, Perfect Lips lip liner in Perfect Nude. That's like my kind of everyday holy grail one. But these ones obviously are sharpened, so they have a really, really fine point, and it's very easy to line your lips with these and to get the right shape. The Too Faced one, while it is beautiful and the color is perfect and the formula is amazing, it is not a sharpenable one. So it does get blunt and it is a little bit harder to get a really, really crisp line on your lips, especially if you are trying to overdraw them a little bit, which I have kind of started to do. Um, it's a little bit harder and you can go from looking normal to looking batshit crazy with just like one slip of the pencil. So these are amazing. And then the last thing, I got some liquid lipsticks. Now these ones are from LA Splash. I got these in a bundle. It was five for $60 with free shipping. And it's, a, well, it's called the Bear It All bundle. So we've got OG Ghoulish, Cryptic, Ghoulish, Innocent Vixen, and Latte Confession. I will switch them all. Okay, so from the top is OG Ghoulish. Then that one is Cryptic, Ghoulish, Innocent Vixen, and Latte Confession. So they're all, well, they look kind of similar, these ones here, but they are actually very different once you apply them to your lips. Anyway, apart from the fact that they are relatively affordable, the formula is amazing. I used to really like the Velour Lips from Australis, but I found that they became very, very chunky and chalky and they didn't really last on me. I'm not sure whether I just got like a couple of bad ones or what, but they just didn't really work for me. Beautiful colors, um, obviously a good drugstore alternative, but they just didn't really um, mesh well with my needs. These ones are very, very thin in formula. They dry within about 30 seconds and then they stay. I tell you this because the other day I had a family gathering and I had to drive to Glen Rowan, which is about two and a half, almost three hours away from Melbourne. And I put this on eight o'clock in the morning. I got home at 11 o'clock at night and it was still there. I kid you not, I did not touch up with it. I had two meals, I had numerous drinks and it was still exactly the same. It, I've never encountered a lip product that stays that well like from any brand of any price point nothing has ever stayed that well and I'm just, just so impressed with them and the colors are so beautiful and 
they're really good alternatives to like Lime Crime, Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, and they have more shades, but obviously this is just what I got in the bundle, and I may have to purchase more because I flipping love them. I love them. Anyway, that's that. <laughs> So those are my July favorites. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some possible items to add to your little basket on Sephora or Mac or Mecca. Don't let me be an enabler, guys. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed um, and I will see you soon. Bye.